Okay, so <laughs> I am aware this is a little bit like floating head, but I, uh, I don't know what else to do. And also, yes, I am sitting in a camp chair in my bathroom. Um, <laughs> we moved back into the house. It's been almost two months now. And uh, we still have like no furniture. We have a couch. Well, we have a couch and a love seat, and that's it. I mean, we have like appliances, a fridge, a stove, and a dishwasher, and thank God, <clears throat> excuse me, a washer and dryer. But um, that's literally it. We don't even have a bed. We're sleeping on air mattresses. So we're like, you know, but um, it just is what it is. So it has just been one problem after another with the loan and like just everything just everything anything you can imagine to go wrong has so here I am in a camp chair in my bathroom but you know what it is mine it's my bathroom so yes I wanted to just jump on here real quick to film <laughs> I don't know what this is stress this is stress um, to film a video to first of all say thank you for <laughs> sticking with me. Um, I have been updating my um, Instagrams here and there, but um, <clears throat> also I wanted to share some kind of like, there we go. There, see I do, I do have a body. Um, like favorites. I pulled up this camp chair because I wanted a place to sit. I don't want to sit on the floor, or stand up the entire time because I want to I want to be comfy in my in my video. So um, it's just some random favorites. Uh, I thought that I would start with um, makeup and then close with uh, like I have like three, two, I don't even know home fragrance things. So let's just get started. And these are not like new. Um, products they're just products that I have that I've been using because um, like yeah I've moved my stuff I'll maybe I'll do like a video of my setup once it gets <clears throat> set up how I like it but I've moved in all my products but I still kind of have things tucked away like in the cabinet and then I have this drawer coincidentally right here that I've been um, that I kind of have like a rotation going <laughs> um, so Actually, yeah, let's talk about this one too. Are they marked? No, that's just gonna be a pain in the butt. Never mind. Scratch that. All right, <clears throat> now let's for real get started. First of all, this is from Milani. Uh, this is the Coral Crush Cheek Kiss, like that. So this is the Cheek Kiss in Coral Crush. Basically, it's a cream um, cream blush. I am not a cream product type of gal at all. I prefer powders, um, but this is nice. So it goes on and it's, it reminds me of uh, Max Ripe Peach back in the day. I don't even know. I don't know what Max's doing. I haven't <clears throat> bought anything from Mac in probably about 10 years, but um, it's really pretty. It's more pinky. Than it first appears so it's really flattering i'm not wearing it who even knows what i'm wearing you can't even see anything but uh except for dark circles those are very apparent but this is it's super pretty and it lasts um a decent amount of time especially for a cream product now i have this on my finger okay whatever um so <clears throat> there's that next another cheek product this is a master chrome highlighter from Maybelline. I don't know if this is a, one of the limited edition shades or not. This is in the one 250. It doesn't have an actual name. No, but uh, no, not on the sticker either. So let's see. As you can see, I have used that a ton. It's just a really pretty like I don't know, whatever color that is, <laughs> highlighter. And it's really shiny. So like, let's see. But without being like, bam, you know? And they look really nice together. 
I've had that for a long time. Um, I re that was one of the first products I replaced actually um, after the fire. So I've had it 10 months, almost 11. Um, the one that I had before that was kind of like a similar shade, but it had like an icier undertone. And I couldn't find that one again. I know that one was limited edition. So unfortunately they didn't have that, but that was close enough. All right. <clears throat> Next, this is the True Match Lumi Bronzet, and I think I had talked about this previously. This is in the lightest shade. Uh, I broke it. <laughs> so here's mine. As you can see, I've just about got pan going on in there, which is amazing for me and a bronzer. I am not, well, I wasn't a bronzer person. Um, I never wore it, but now I literally wear this Anytime I put on makeup, it just adds. I am wearing this one, if you can, I don't know. It's It's been on all day. Um, it just adds a nice, like, healthy glow. And you can see that it does have, like, a reflect, but there's, there we go. Oh, look at that. It's actually gonna focus. There's no, like, glitter or sh sh I mean, there's, there's reflect, so there has to be shimmer, but it's not like, you know. <clears throat> Anyway, it's really pretty and it's not expensive. Uh, next, <clears throat> I only grabbed one of these, but this is a just general statement. I like this line. This is the L'Oreal Color Riche um, Nude Intense range. This is in the shade 178 New Excessive. So 178. Ooh, 178. Uh, these are so, these are like, are these pretty? Look at that. Like that. And this this color is pretty too. I don't know. Should I swatch it? Do we still swatch? Is that a thing? So you can see that in the middle. And these have a nice smell. They're not that like old L'Oreal smell that was like grandma to the max. They're just a pleasant, sweet, slightly fruity scent. And the packaging is really pretty too. It's kind of a... Uh, it's a little bit more rosy than it's showing on the camera, but I mean, it looks nice. It's pretty. Next is a palette. So this is like, this is, I got this from Instagram and it's a handmade palette from um, Pout, Pout and Shout. Um, she takes palettes and completely like repaints the packaging, obviously. Um, and then presses and mixes and let's well, not blind it there. Uh, the pans inside. So this is the complete face palette, the Choose Your Fighter complete face palette. And her system is, is that she posts and then you, she posts a range of price that she would like to get for it and you pay according to your means. <clears throat> and yeah, it's just a really unique way of buying. Um, and I really love this. So I have been using, they don't really have shade names. So I've been using this one here, this, this one. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And so that's that one there. It's a really pretty blush color. And I've also been using this guy, gal, whatever. <laughs> um, and this is really like, look at that swatch. So it's really bright. I mean, you just need the tiniest amount. Obviously I don't wear that much, but. And then there's also like bronzers, contour, um, highlighters. So this is, it's a really neat palette. And I really like, her stuff is really cool. Like I just like that it's all so unique and like, I mean, it's, it's just cool. Little kitty nose, you know? So there's that. I really like this and it's, it's cool. Um, and then this last thing, this is just something that I have been doing. I don't have a wipe. <laughs> uh, do I? Lately, um, I have been taking my palettes and singles and making my own palettes. So this is um, a ColourPop like magnetic palette. And I took, <clears throat> God, excuse me, a bunch of this is like my neutral palette, you know? So there's a bunch of in a bunch of different shadows in here. Like I have 
those are all Natasha Denona, um, Makeup Geek, Colourpop, <sighs> Terra Moons, I think. So yeah, uh, I have that. And I also have, let's see, I should have just, maybe I already put it away. But I did like a, a spring palette as well. Maybe I already put it away because it's not spring anymore and I do stuff like that. I just amaze myself because it's like I have been, <laughs> we've been here two months and my drawer is already a mess. So is this it? for all the noise okay so this is the one that I made for spring and so that again it's makeup geek Terra moons color pop um, dandelions and oh there's another one in here I can't remember what is this guy this is oh it is Terra moons never mind yeah. And I think this one is copacetic. Yeah. So nice mix. But I use this guy, gal. I don't know. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Every single day. Like this is my my go-to. I guess if I were to ever make a neutral palette, this is this is what I'd make. <laughs> so I just thought that was kind of neat. Um lastly couple of non-makeup favorites. I'm sure everybody knows these already, but these are my absolute favorite, these Epsom salts. And I just, oh, the scent. I just think the scent is incredible. This is the, just the Soothe and Sleep, right? Yeah, Soothe and Sleep Lavender. It's, so, they're so strong and they smell so good. And in the towels, I finally have a bathtub so I can use them. Yay. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> wax, I have been melting wax again um vendor wax specifically so this one is from um l3 waxy wonders this is blackberry watermelon boom boom salty sea air oh my gosh it smells so good it smells the watermelon is like the most dominant and it smells it's almost a honeydew smell or cantaloupe but it's it's yum so there's that one and then Developing a whole lot of this one. I I mean it's halfway almost. Um Full House from Super Tarts, and I don't remember what this is. It's like um I looked it up before filming, but now I don't remember. It's like cookie jar, sweet cream, marshmallow or something. And oh my god. When this is melting, the entire this this one throws well, but it's mostly like the back half of the house because I'm melting here in the back bathroom, which is the master in the back part of the house. But this this one it's like the entire house. Oh my God, it smells so good. So <clears throat> I think that's it. I think that's all I wanted to talk about. Is there anything else that I wanted to mention? Oh, I do. The last thing that should have been up with makeup stuff. But um, yes, yeah, all right here. The last favorites for real though, because I purchased a new skin cream or skincare. Um, I got this uh, as a recommendation from June Mermaid. So I just purchased um, three things. First, I got um, from Evan Healy, I got the Blue Chamomile Day Moisturizer. This is okay, it smells really nice. Or, it smells really nice. This one, <laughs> this one does not smell really nice. This one smells weird, but I like the way it makes my, fit, my skin feel really nice is what I was gonna say. I'm so crazy. Um, this one is the Wild Carrot Nourishing Eye Balm and it comes, well, oh, it's nice. It comes in a stick like this. And I really like this because it just, like this, like this, done. And this one doesn't really have much of a scent, but this one, I, <laughs> it's funny. Can you see it? <laughs> so this is the coconut cream cleanser. It was so warm today that this just completely liquefied. So I'm gonna have to wait for it to solidify. But this one, this smells so good. It smells like, I can smell it just, um, it smells like the sweet coconut, but there's also like, 
the smell of whatever essential oils are in there and oh i love it i love that i will definitely be repurchasing this one um <laughs> this is a maybe um i'm gonna try a different moisturizer like the scent isn't a big deal but uh like i like the way it makes my skin feel uh but the scent is it's off-putting but i really like the brand or the like the three products as a whole so i thought i'd mention them in my favorites but that for real is the end of my favorites um if you have any questions, comments, concerns, recommendations, anything at all, please let me know and thank you for watching.